today's winner is going to receive a fifty thousand dollar donation from fedex in your name to st jude children's oh, research hospital nice go look in those taxes because there's a golf ball in one of them we got to figure out which one it is and we got to get the golf ball out go 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 shake him shake him oh Oh, I missed. I missed. Where'd it go? Right, I go missed. Right oh, it's my way. It's heavy. What? I missed. No. Oh, no. Is that your wedge or mine? It's yours. No. No, I missed it. Yeah, Does that count? Count? Oh, no, no, no. Out. For the win! Oh, <laughs> we did it, Olivia! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Whew. <laughs> it's over! Jordan Spieth is the FedEx Ultimate Skills Challenge winner. Congratulations to Jordan Spieth and Olivia. And as today's FedEx Ultimate Skills Challenge winner. FedEx is going to be making a $50,000 donation in the name of Jordan Spieth. But right. in the spirit of giving and to celebrate this week's FedEx St. Jude Championship, we're going to go ahead and make an additional $50,000 donation in the name of John Rahm, right. making the total donation $100,000. This tournament is much more than just a playoff event. It's much more than one of the flagship events of the year, right, because of the connection to St. Jude's. Any part where we can do what we do on a weekly basis and help, it's just a very positive way to start the week. Hey, Kappa. Come on, buddy. It's been three years. This is a legend, guys. <laughs> yeah, you want to walk a few holes with us? Yeah? You ready for it? Yeah, I think so. I think so. So if you could design a shoe, what would be your first, what would be the first thought you'd have? Like, what would you like the first thing to be on it? If you could pick. Like, St. Jude? Because some kids, they don't have the chance to like come on here. So I'm really grateful, so thank you. Man, maybe because we're eating better, but we could put like something <laughs> something unhealthy on the shoe. Fries? <laughs> yeah. Nuggets? Little nuggets, just so I could look at them and then think to myself yeah. like those happy thoughts. <laughs> Motivation is key. <laughs> Motivation is key. You see that smile right there? You keep that smile. <laughs> what up, Calvin? Hey. I'm bummed I couldn't meet you in person. <laughs> Man. All right, let's check these things out. Oh, oh, these are sweet. Oh, it's got your two quotes on it. It says, you see that smile right there? You keep that smile. I like that. And then motivation is key on this one. We got french fries and nuggets on this side. I think we nailed this. I will not let you down. <laughs> I know you would. You never do, Calvin. You're the man. <laughs> Again, I hope I can meet you in person one of these days. Wyndham, this is Calvin. Hey, Calvin. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you're good. Yeah, yeah, you're good. I'm glad you're here this year. Long overdue. Just while he hits, yeah. Go on. You play golf? Nah. Oh, just my coach is jealous because I get a meat yard. <laughs> he told me to join the team because of you guys. Oh that. yeah. <laughs> I'm a teenager that had a brain tumor since I was like either 10, 11, and it is stable thankfully, but they just gotta watch a close eye to it. Had been through eight surgeries so far, so you always got to keep a smile, man. If you got a tip in life, what like what is a the tip one number? In life. Yeah. 
Like just in general. Since, I learned you know. one from you is always to keep smiling. Yo. That's always a good one. <laughs> How you feeling, yeah, man? I'm great, man. Just, you know, just being thankful that I'm here. Yeah, like, I'm thankful you're here too. That's man, exciting. We've been waiting for three years. Three years? I didn't think it was ever gonna happen. How do you know which ball is yours? Like, uh, you I up? put a Sharpie uh, marks on mine. And that's a good question. What? If you had a golf ball mm -hmm. and you had to make a unique mark on it, what would you put on it? Oh, good point. Would you good go like point. initials? I put a number on mine. Either St. Jude or SC, my, SC? my first name, All right. my last name, and put the number 23. All right, I, I like that. Yeah. You're just going to make it one try. <laughs> one try. Left thumb down, then right hand over, right thumb down. Yep, there you go, you got it. Wait, hold up. <laughs> you aim, aim it right here. I we trust in the progress. Let's get it. Bruh! <laughs> All right, no, no. I'm gonna keep getting you Give close. me a tip, give me a tip, like. Do me a favor, set up to it, I'm gonna put the putter where it should go, okay? So just stand like you're about to hit it. Yep, there you go. I'm gonna put the putter right where it's supposed to start. I want you to just bring it back to there, so hit it now. Finally. <laughs> I did that, y'all. I did that. <laughs> Good point. Now look at that beauty right there. Like, what? I can't, bro, what? Ooh. I mean, that's practice right there. You got to respect that, y'all. I've been doing this for 30 years. Look at his stats, man. Stats, not just that. He's a great human being. Love the energy he gives off. He's just a great guy. His, his parents raised him wonderful. All right, this one's for you, and I got one for your teacher if you want. Ooh. Help you keep getting hey, good Hey, Mr. Woody, y'all better say look. <laughs> nah, I don't got him no more. Like, he is clutch. All right, Calvin, one selfie. Oh. Take care. I keep love me you. posted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Love you, man. Keep me posted. Love you, too. Stay hey, healthy. about that mindset. Go crazy. Oh, I got you. Aw, oh, thank you, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Is this for me? Wow. Guys, you have to introduce yourself. Thank you. What was your name? Mary. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Thanks for being with us today. Yeah. I'm Jason. I'm Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm nice Ronaldo. to meet I'm Victor. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. Play ball? Yeah. Yeah, you like it? I love ball. That's great, isn't it? I love love <laughs> I love that. Three loves. Sometimes we're getting a hole. Yeah, Daddy. wall. So when you put mine, you try and put it in the hole. When you put theirs, like put it in the water or something. Does that sound good? Yeah. Oh, look. Five holes in one? In one day? You're better than me, girl. Ah, uh, I only got in two. Two yesterday? Yeah. You're better than me, too. Wow. Have you ever been to a golf tournament? The first one. You play volleyball? You're a lot fitter than me. So I'm not, oh, I can't do that. What was your favorite place that you lived? Some of the most beautiful places I've traveled to is like South Africa, like mm -hmm. Cape Town. Definitely, I love the UK. UK's, I like the golf over there. I would say that I'm a, like. Like, did you like the golfing experience? Yeah, the golfing experience, because it's a total different course. So like, you, you'll see this and it doesn't look, it looks nothing like what we have here, which is, which is cool, so. Like, did you have to like, Learn to play it their way there? 100%. 100%. Yeah, it's, it, the, the, you have to be more creative over there. So you have more options. 100%. Sounds like you know golf. <laughs> Even though yeah, you haven't been to a golf tournament. I like to hike in Norwegian. I like to hike a lot. Ooh, I like so, hiking too. Yeah. We hike so, in Thailand and I love it. Oh, it was really? my first time doing that. Okay. And I really enjoy it. Yeah. Because there's like a big difference when it comes to the food from here and there. Um. A little bit. I would say Norwegian food is very basic. It's not, you know, you just have meat and potato and some vegetables. Like it's very, very basic, just basic farm, farmer's food. But it's great. You know, it's all natural and, and fresh. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, pleasure. Enjoy uh, volleyball. Good luck with it. Very nice to meet you, Ronaldo. Nice to meet you as well. Going Thank forward. You. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it wasn't my best. But, good thing I have you guys. I hear about all these holes in one, so. <laughs> yeah, nice hit. 
Nice job. job. All right. So you go next. Ooh, nice. There we go. Nice job. Way to go, girls. Way to go. Guys. Selfie time. Awesome. Thank you so much, girls. It's so awesome to have you guys here. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, girls, for being here. Okay. Nice to meet you, and I'll see you again, all right? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. I'm going to play some golf with it and keep it for the rest of my life. Say. <laughs> What's up, it's Jason Tatum from the Boston Celtics. I'm here in Memphis playing my first ever pro am. I'm very nervous, but uh, looking forward to having some fun. I grew up, I played AAU basketball in Memphis um, for like three or four years. So Memphis is kind of like a second home. You know, you're playing with Rom. Are you excited about that? I am, but I. Uh, when they told me I couldn't get no sleep last night, so I just hopefully I don't embarrass myself. I just want to hit a few good balls today. I don't know, have some fun. Unofficially, you have met before. Hey, Jason. How you doing? Hey, good to meet you. Man. Nice to meet you too. I'm excited for today. I'm nervous. You're nervous. For sure. Why? It's my first time doing this. Should be a fun day. Looking forward to it. I was super nervous coming into it. Didn't know what to expect, but uh, it was chill. It was relaxed. Everybody. I made a great experience. I got to play with Ron. You know, great guy. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoyed being out there. You know, not to brag, I know what I'm doing when I go on the court. Uh, today, you know, I was part was racing. And batting cleanup, please welcome Jason Tatum. You told in the fair way. You know, he's my favorite golfer and uh, super cool, uh, down to earth. Uh, we had great conversations, pretty funny, uh, so um, I'm glad it worked out. Lucas Glover on the verge of going back to back, perhaps. He has a leaderboard stacked of stops. 64 for Patrick, incredible play. Two men will battle it out in Memphis. Lucas Glover and Patrick Cantley. tumbles in and Lucas Glover goes back to back including the opening leg of the FedEx Cup playoffs if you'd have told me this three months ago I'd tell you you're crazy but uh, at the same time if you asked me legitimately did I think I was capable I'd say yes it's just one of those sad ways athletes are wired we always believe in ourselves no matter how bad it is and you know I never never gave that up the heat and humidity of Memphis, the hottest player in the game. Yeah. All right, our tournament team next, please. All right. Kind of nervous, but. What are you going to be nervous about? You're just going to stand here and look cool. A warm welcome, please, for Quincy. Out. Good luck with everything, all right? Thank you. Yeah, stay strong, all right? Thanks. Good luck to you. Thank no you. Thank you. I think one one group that needs a round of applause are our honorary pin holders over there in the red shirts. Isn't that what we're <laughs> Thanks, guys. Nice job. Oh, man, Quincy was good luck. Is that like what you normally see when you caddy here? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Maybe half the speed of that. Jigga, what's up, man? Scotty. How you doing? Pleasure. Yeah, How you doing? Show. What's going on? Pleasure. It's an honor to be right. here with you. Let's do it. Ready? Let's, Let's do it. Work. 
Ted, Ted, how's it going? Look at this, Why man. He's already taking off the bag on you. How you doing? Official handshake. Good oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How are you? Oh, yeah. Pretty good. How about yourself? Awesome. You guys loving Chicago so far? Yeah, that's all good. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Did you grow up here? I did, absolutely. I've awesome. been caddying here for the past nine years and love it. Oh, really? I love every second, so. Nice. This is home. I'm going to UIC. Evan Scholar there, junior. I was the first generation there, so it was just me and eight other scholars. So they just put us, we're brand new to it, and figured it out ourselves. But I love it there. I was just in seventh grade when I first learned what a caddy was. My parents always taught me to do something you like for work, and in this case, I fell in love with caddying. They always taught me to work hard for what you want and to succeed in life. And so far, I'm glad to be where I am, and I can say it's because of caddying. It's pretty exciting for, for my, my parents here. I, I, I enjoy bringing them out here. And are your parents here today? They're here. They're up by that tree up there. That's my dad up there. <laughs> my dad's all over the place. I almost lost my dad. Oh, really? About 2018. He loves working. He's always taught me to work. And he was like, get out the car. You're canning today. <laughs> so, of course I did that. Yeah, listen to your pops. And then next thing you know, on his way back to, to the home, he got struck by another vehicle. Brain damage. He's no no sense of taste, smell. Really? Yeah. Gosh, that's scary. A lot of fractures. Right. It looks like your, your average person. You won't be able to tell that he's had something like that happen to him, but we definitely noticed it. So yeah. There's things he doesn't remember, but I'm glad I have him alive, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. He's still here. As troubling as it sounds for my dad, basically, Canning saved my life that day. If I were in the car that day and I had not stayed to caddy, I, I would have been gone. I can speak fast. I can walk fast. And my vision is bad. So my, and my life is changing complete. It definitely, to this day, it causes my dad a lot of struggles. He's well driven and he always tries to be as positive as he can, but deep down it has affected our family tremendously. Do you work here during the summers? I do, I do. I'm full time in the summers here. This year, I think I'm at 120 loops. Yeah, I was gonna ask. I feel like you should get a decent amount of bags out here. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Got yeah, 170 on the dot there. 50 and 18. That's just Teddy's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen to the caddies. Hey, it'll stick together in this if this doesn't work. Okay, buddy. <laughs> All right. We just, the wind, we'll just say the wind shifted, okay? That's a, my number one line. Oh. That, that's a good one. Yeah. That's, <laughs> actually, that's my, one of my top threes, for sure. Yeah, okay, good. Teach me your other ways, please. That's perfect. Oh, I'm so proud for him. It's amazing, like, um, dream come true. Because we coming from big families, we don't have nothing. And I want my sons to be better like me, study and better future. It's life-changing, it, it really is life-changing. In this case, for my family, Evan Scholarship relieved complete financials for my parents sending me to college since they knew they wanted to send me to college. Yeah, it's fun hanging out with Diego. He's a good kid, works hard in school, works hard out here. He said, uh, I think his last day off was like middle of April, so he's been working pretty hard. The foundation's amazing. It's really cool to see kids like that get the opportunity to be able to go to college, and then they definitely aren't taking it for granted. This is dream come true. Nine years of caddying basically led up to this moment. It's something that's going to remain in my blood forever. I could definitely say I'm an Evan Scholar for the rest of my life, so that definitely means a lot to me. How do you feel about being at your first golf tournament ever? At 103. And all these people are wondering who the celebrity is. <laughs> they are. They are. And they're like, we don't recognize her. <laughs> This is about the closest course that is at by our house, so I decided to come. I sure enjoy it this very much. When I was 100 years old and I had 12 golfers wish me a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susan. Happy birthday to you. Look at that face. <laughs> I'm Colin. Colin Moore, Colin. Oh, How are you doing? Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, it's so good to meet you. I have a list that I select the player, and your name comes up quite often. Thank you. 
it's been a while, so I'm coming, <laughs> coming back, okay? Oh, just keep coming back, yeah. I never give up on <laughs> Thank you. I, I won't either, I promise. Now we're 103. 103 and a half. 103. <laughs> and I'm, still, oh, you didn't know I was that I, old? You didn't look it. Not a day over 27. <laughs> Well, it was great meeting you. Oh, thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you have you. an amazing week, okay? For coming and talking Absolutely. to me. Absolutely. Yes, I'm a big golf fan, and I watch golf all the time. And I know most of the players I know real well. Hey, Rory. That's Rory McIlroy, right there. So us. Right there. there he, <laughs> he waved to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rory! <laughs> Let's get up. Oh my God, am I happy to see you? Oh. Lovely to see you. Glad you could be here. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> oh am I happy to oh, see you. I watch you. you all the time. Thank you. I hear you're a big Ricky fan. <laughs> I love Ricky. Ricky's a, Ricky, Ricky's a good guy. But I follow you, and, I, and I'm happy and I hope that you'll be way up there too today in this tournament. I hope so. That and would be I'm nice. I'm going to be extra happy when uh, I see your name. Uh, thank you so, so much. So play good. Thank you. I will. I'll try. I'll try. Yes, I wish nice you were good. Thank you so much. Oh, well, thank nice to see you. you. Thank you. I'm so thank happy. You. <laughs> if you guys don't think I'm excited, I better take my blood pressure. <laughs> okay. You can't call her in the middle of a tournament because she won't answer. She won't answer. You'll be watching all four rounds this week, right? Oh, I watch it four rounds every week. <laughs> I think we got somebody else that might want to say hello to you Oh, here. there's my friend from 100 <laughs> years ago, and he's wishing me you? another happy Everybody's birthday. Everybody's talking about you. Oh, my God. Hey, nobody's talking about anything else except Grandma Susie. Well, I'm glad you came to say hello to me. This is why I came this to meet This is a treat for us. Are you having a nice day? Oh, because there were... Twelve of them, twelve of you that wished me a happy birthday when I was a hundred. Was mine your favorite? Well, my favorite is Ricky. So who's your second favorite golfer? Second favorite? How about Tommy Fleetwood? Uh, <laughs> you weren't going to say that. <laughs> Don't okay. forget. So I'm going to wear orange all week. You'll be there on, be there on the top ten. I will. Yeah, I'll try and my maybe best. Maybe number one. That's even oh, what I say. So. Oh, there's Fleetwood. Look at that. So, so there's Fleetwood, him. my 55th favorite golfer. <laughs> <laughs> right, dude. Okay. Two, three. Great. Thank All right. You. I'll see you guys. Bye, Grandma. See you. Ricky is here today. Yeah, he's here today. Oh, I have to see him. <laughs> hey, look at me, Nikki. <laughs> Who's your favorite player, golfer, ever? Well, as, as always, my favorite player is Ricky Fowler. Oh, I wonder where he But is. there are others that I really like. What about, what about this? I've heard Ricky's uh... decent. <laughs> How are you? Oh my well, you don't have to get up for me. Ricky, I didn't know you stood here and I used your name. I like to watch you just because I like, didn't know much about you, but I like uh, just to watch you because you're so outstanding and look so good in those clothes and you were young, very Thank young. You. Well, sorry we're not too bright yeah, today, but we got some well, color. You, I know, because you think you're older and you can't wear it anymore. We, we still can, just don't do it as much. <laughs> well, a lot of good luck to you. And tomorrow, when you're starting in that tournament, I'll be a nervous wreck. See if we can work on that top five starting tomorrow and then give Wouldn't you some I good golf happy? to watch. Just think, oh boy, Susie's so happy. <laughs> Deanna, right? Yeah, nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I remember last year I didn't play well in this tournament at all and didn't feel like I had too much to play for, but making a hole in one on my second hole of the day and then finding out later after the round that that could actually change someone's life and give them an education. When there's a hole in one, they give a scholarship to 
someone, and I was the hole-in-one scholar this year. <laughs> it was like a moment where it made me realize that my life is real, and that having a full ride to college is like a real thing, that I'm actually living that dream. Heard you're starting school next, next week? Yeah, on Monday. You excited? Yeah, very. Yeah? I was really excited and nervous. He's a really sweet guy, and he was just really chill about it. <laughs> You're going for the school part, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard it was it environmental engineering. Well, it's agriculture and biological engineering. Okay, that sounds very complicated. Yeah. It must yeah. be smart. No. <laughs> yeah. I just play golf, but if that can help other people, that makes what I do a lot more meaningful. In order to be an Evans Scholar, you have to display financial need, be academically strong display leadership, and be a caddy at a golf course. So I feel really privileged and honored to be here. These are the little things that actually change people's lives. Banged it in the back. Hovland moves to 16 under. Tied with Scheffler with one to go. Five under for the round, but you kind of feel like he still left some out there. I was just kind of trying to stay in my own little world. I knew he was playing really well, and uh, yeah, I was just trying to do my best to keep pushing forward. He's seeing nothing but the flag stick right now. Looks like a good line. Oh my, does it ever. Whoa, right next to the hole. Looking for his 12th three of the day and a course record, and who knows, maybe a trophy. I just kept on focusing shot for shot and got closer to Fitzy and, and Scotty and just kept pouring it on. Course record for the lead. Just your everyday six and a half footer. Up to the moment. Victor Hovland at his absolute best. Started the day three behind, throws a little 61 at it. 61's a pretty fantastic round, especially on with Sunday pressure, and Victor went out and really just, just beat me today. We need a hold shot here, otherwise this tournament belongs to Hovland. Oh, just had to be up a little bit more. To win at a place like this, amongst the best players in the world, to do it that way, making seven birdies to the last nine holes, and to beat those guys, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Well Appreciate it. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, bud. Thanks, man. Good job, buddy. Thanks, Jay. Well done. Thanks for everything. Awesome. Thank you. Shay. Great job. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. So our announcers were talking. They said this your round today was they think the best round they've seen all season. Thanks. Thank you. Wow. Would you agree with that? Uh, certainly my best That's round this season. Yeah. To win a golf tournament, yeah, yeah. Right? that has to be has yeah. to be up there. Scotty, great round, dude. Thanks, Good point. Good Thanks. 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 Congratulations. Slide, man. Yeah. Uh, come on Thank over you. for a quick chat here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Thank you. Get to do it again. Yes, I can do it again, 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 again. You know. Keep this tradition going. <laughs> hey, Victor, is your caddy nearby? Uh, he should be in there boozing somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, it is such an honor. <laughs> coming out.
coming out so far today, and and uh, you, you guys have an awesome club to come out to, and and uh, this has been a very special week and special moment for me. So thanks for for being a part of that and and uh, just supporting. Um, love you guys. Thank you, sir. You got it. <laughs> All right, how about a little celebration? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Y'all been drinking since the great though. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. That's what I had Thank you. Cheers. Ching, ching. Well done, boys. Doug. Who we got here? You can call me whatever you want. No, I don't dare call you what I have. Ricky. Ricky. Well, it's my pleasure to meet you, sir. Me too. My age is 91. I have volunteered for course for 20 years. And this is the green side? Yeah. Yep, you're the final. Okay. You're the man. Okay. I started out doing shot link at Kapalua in Maui in 2004. And at that time, we didn't have any cameras. It was totally a manual process, and we had to go through and write down every place we found a ball. We had to put the ball position on a piece of paper, and we had to turn that sheet in every night. I started doing that in Hawaii, and then when we moved from Hawaii to Georgia in 2012, I volunteered at this tournament and have been here ever since then. 12 green checking in. I have been on the 12th hole now for seven years because they wanted us to stay on the same hole. That's my story of shot link. <laughs> thanks thank for you. your service and thanks for your help here. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. So I retired in 1988. I've been retired over 30 years. So I've retired longer than I worked. <laughs> Well, I appreciate all the years you've put in for us. Well, it's my pleasure, and uh, it's a pleasure to meet you personally also and talk to you. Okay, thank you for stopping by. You got it. Oh, that's a pleasure. That's a pleasure. <laughs> I watch golf, and I love watching golf. I had the privilege of going to the Masters in 2015 when Jordan Spieth won. We bought tea flags at the Masters. I mailed my tea flag and asked them if they could get his signature in the U.S. outline. Six months later, I got it back with his signature. Yeah. Retirement is great because you get to do what you want to do instead of what somebody else wants you to do. Shot link is what I wanted to do because of its technical issues and the fact that I've watched it grow from manual record keeping to cameras and lasers and everything that we have today which is absolutely perfect it works like a charm you so, are a celebrity <laughs> <laughs> one of the nice things about this whole process is you get to meet some wonderful people when you're volunteering there are other volunteers that you get to meet and learn to know and love the hope shot is an opportunity that shines on our students who have thrived and who've worked very hard to be in the program through the game of golf. It means a lot, especially since it's been front and center on my vision board for about two years now. It's a great opportunity. I've seen a ton of my teammates and first tee friends come through and hit the tee shot, so it's super good. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. How, how, are, you? how are you? Good. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm good. You guys excited for tomorrow? Yes, yeah. Sir. Yeah. If that's cool. Advice to give Josh the first tee shot tomorrow. What would you say to him? Oh, rip it! Just hit it as hard <laughs> as you can. Just aim down the middle, swing as hard as you can, right. and you'll be good. Perfect. Mitchell. Oh, God. 
was really exciting. I didn't think I was as nervous as I was going to be until I hit the ball and I heard everybody, uh, but it meant a lot. It feels good to, to see it all pay off. And I've been practicing for the shot for a long time. To hit it as good as I did it really makes it special. Now on the first tee from Oslo, Norway, please welcome Victor Hovland. Well, we all know what that means. Another pop-up cell has made its way over East Lake Golf Club. He came back out after the rain delay, an hour and 53 minutes we waited, and he's been rock solid here all afternoon. Oh, man. The pressure and the temperature are both going up right now. Unwavering wow. in everything he does. He has driven the ball like a machine. Another great shot in here. Will this be back to back for the Norwegian? He's the season long victor. Basically my best golf the last two weeks and uh, couldn't have happened at a better moment uh, in front of all these people. So just want to appreciate y'all for being here and, and being awesome. So uh, thank you guys. An historic day for Hoplin. He started the week in the Front 
mind, even though I was four on the bar, I had to make a lot of, you know, five, six footers for bar that were downhill and, and broke a lot. And, What a season, what a champion. Victor Hovland is Norway's first FedEx Cup champion.